What's up everybody? I'm back. I'm on break and I've got three and a half months of straight magic trick video producing ahead of me. I'm really excited. I've got a new camera. I've got a whole bunch of new tricks that I'm, you know, I've got in my head and ready to ready to make and I'm ready to get started. So let's go ahead and give these cards a thorough shuffling, some cuts, all that good stuff. Feels good to be back. Let's have you select a card. Now, unfortunately, you're not actually here with me right now, um, but let's just pretend that you said stop right here. And there's where you said stop on the two of diamonds. It's okay if I look at it, because we're going to have you sign this card. And again, you is me because of that whole camera barrier thing. We'll find a way to get over that one day. Um, but for now, I'll get a big old tags across the face of this. Nice, nice. Excellent choice, by the way. The Two of Diamonds. One of the better cards in the deck. Um, so, let me show you that. Uh, got that custom ink on that card. Nice, nice. And we're going to go ahead and get that custom fold now. Not, not that custom. It's a pretty standard fold, actually. But anyways, we've got our fold. A nice crease going. That's just so I can tear it easier. Spoiler alert, I'm about to tear it. Um, Alright. And... Nice crease makes for a nice tear. And goodbye TA portion of the tags. Um, let's move on to phase 2. And phase 2 happens to be a repeat of phase 1. We fold it again. Get that nice crease. It's really important to get that good crease or else... The lamination over the card can make you look surprisingly weak. It can be difficult to um, to get a nice rip. So let us. And that is what I'm talking about, guys. I promise you, I'm sort of averagely strong. And there we go. All right. The cards are ripped. And. Place on the palm, a little blow, and what do you know it? The cards. The card has has come back to life, and with the signature and everything, that is the torn and restored card, and I. I'm going to show you how to do that. So as you guys saw, obviously this trick does require you to waste a card, or actually two cards, and I know a lot of you guys don't like to destroy cards, but I'm just going to say that there is sort of a price to pay with cool tricks sometimes, and um, it's not a terrible idea to buy a new deck of cards specifically for destroying. Uh, for making gimmick cards, or using as duplicate cards, or ripping up, whatever the trick calls for, sometimes you need to waste a card, that's just how it works. So, um, with that being said, let us let me show you how to do this trick in particular. The way I performed it, you need a duplicate card, but um, you can easily get away with this trick without using a duplicate card. Um, but the way I did it was, I had a duplicate card, and I had a duplicate signature. So, you just sign... I'm going to write my name this time, just like that. You remember where it is, and you, uh, when you sign the other card in front of the spectator, uh, you just duplicate that. Um, so that's one way, but you can do this um, just pretending that this card, not my, my pre-ready-to-go card, just pretend this is a random card, and um, you can easily follow along uh, without using a duplicate card. So we're going to put these on bottom with the unsigned one uh, right on the bottom. And you can shuffle, you can do some false cuts, um, as long as you make sure that that stays on the bottom. Now I'm going to do a Hindu force, a Hindu shuffle, and they say stop, and this remains on the bottom. Um, I'm going to place this back on the bottom now. And now I'm going to, I'm going to sign the card, but if you're using just one card, you can have the spectator sign it, and that's, that could even be a better option. You know, 
anytime the spectator is incorporated more um, only makes the trick better. So uh, sign the card again. Okay, you see it's a very similar signature, so they're not really going to be able to tell. No one is that picky about you know the angles of the letter. They're going to say, wait a second, I don't think that's the same thing. So you've got it, and now you're going to take a double lift and take both of these cards. So take both of these cards, and let's see how I did on my duplication. All right, not too bad. Okay, so you're going to take both cards as one, and now if you're only using one deck of cards, you have just a random card back here, and it's not signed, it's not anything, and the, the trick is never show this card. And I'll show you what I mean by that in a second. So we have the card as one, and we're going to fold it. Get a nice crease going. And, all right, here's the first secret. So we they think we have one card folded, and we're only going to unfold that one card, that card that we're destroying. So if you have a random card, this is the card you're ripping. If you have that duplicate card that you made ahead of time, this is the card you're ripping. So you're going to unfold it like this so that only one is here and then this is your whole card and that is intact. Um, a suggestion I have is right in the middle you're going to want to put your index finger, your left index finger there and your thumb and hide that part because that is a part of the card that can easily be given away that there is another card behind it. And use your whole left hand sort of to cover the side that has the spare card behind it. So once you have your crease, you rip along that. Now if this is a random card, you're not allowed to flash this or they'll know that that's not their card. But if this is a duplicate card, you could say, look, there's my, there's my M, my signature part of it. I want this to, there we go. Okay. Um, so that, that's kind of where the, the two variations separate. Um, you can choose for yourself which one is better. Um, then you put it back on here making sure always to not flash that you have a million pieces. That's the biggest downfall of this trick. So you have your part here and you're going to fold again and to fold this time I like to use my my thumb and my middle finger and put those on the outside and then push with my index finger just like that. Get a nice crease Okay, and when it's time to unfold, that's a bad crease, bad crease. Okay, so when it's time to unfold, you're only going to take the two pieces here. So the two pieces of the fake card, right? Or the duplicate card, you're going to undo those, rip it, and now you can show again you made a duplicate, you put that in front, and now you have four ripped pieces with one folded um, actual card in back. Next part is to put it in your palm, and you're going to want to put it in your palm where you can palm it. So practice the palm and place the cards where you want to palm it. Now you're going to take your thumb and just slide off the top card. It'll be easy to slide it's on top of the other cards. You're just going to slide it off as you as you turn and put the other cards in the palm so just like that and place it right back into your left hand or the, the hand that you're palming the cards in so it looks natural alright you can show your fingers just don't flash like that so you have it just like this you at this point you can either do the magical part like you know uh, magical rub or whatever handkerchief I don't know any magical you know variation you want to put on it go for it but you have the card and you're ready to show that it is the same card that we started with. It's a great, it's a great trick and uh, you can have a lot of fun with it. Um, I suggest that this is still, you know, palmed. You switch off and you either put this in your pocket. Um, you, you know, you have to work on that. Or what I do is I just dump it behind a table that I'm sitting behind and you can show your hands and that's the trick. It's a great one. If you have any questions, please comment and I'll be happy to answer. Um, thanks for watching, guys. New video will be out on Monday, and I'm really excited for this summer, so I'll see you next time, guys.